look for that video in a couple of weeks. All right, today's the day for the Yugo review update. Two weeks of painting up at Sperry Chalet really gave me an insight into the you know pros and cons of this easel. And so far, I gotta say it was mostly pros. I really enjoyed painting with it. Uh, just as a quick recap, if you don't want to watch the whole video, I recommend the easel. It's awesome. Uh, but if you want some more uh, details, let's check it out. I'm going to do a quick overview of my gear setup real quick. It's very important to find a tripod with a hook on the bottom so you can weight it down with your backpack or rocks or whatever you got to do. I always bring an extra clip or two to hold down my paper towels. Um, let's see, I put my paints in this pill box here so I can just easily pack this gear up without having to worry about messes getting all over everything. It's a little OCD, obviously. Okay, as you can see, it's got a few minor dings and dents now. It's to be expected, but overall it held up really great. This is the part I'm ashamed to share. I filled that pillbox with paint, but then this happened. I ended up piling a bunch of paint in here just because I was painting so much and it gave me kind of a pain carrying that little pillbox around and now I've got this shameful excuse of a palette. But as you can see it didn't make anything too messy which was a, a big relief. I thought everything, all the paint would gunk up in here and it stayed really clean and operated nicely that way. And now I can really see why that feature, this magnetic easel removal or you know pallet removal is, is pretty great. See, I can take this out and clean this right up. You know what they say, clean pallet, clean mind. And you can't paint without a clean mind. So, you know. And voila. So, there's a couple minor scratches in this, probably from my palette knife mixing, and a little hole happened in the back of the paint right here uh, on the on the palette itself from the screw coming through right here, the, the tripod mount that I used. This bolt was just a little bit too long and came through and scratched the paint. So that's something to be aware of. I'm glad it didn't crack the palette. That would have been a disaster. Uh, it's the biggest risk in using glass, but obviously one of the biggest perks is being able to easily clean it and maintain it. Um, so that's back to how I like it. Just magnetizes back in. Yep. Look at that. Good as new. These little deals worked really awesome. Um, I didn't have any problems with them. Uh, even working on that 9x12 vertical, it still held up to the test and didn't didn't pop out or anything so it definitely felt like kind of the max that it should be but it was pretty good these hinges are awesome really got nothing but good things to say about how tight these are they held up in lots of uh, kind of mediocre conditions for sure uh, you got to make sure when you're closing this thing that this is in that box area otherwise it'll kind of collide up here um, and same with this thing will kind of fit just like that this contraption saved me a lot of weight, um, not having to bring a whole tripod along. I just need to get a shorter screw, apparently. But that thing just drops in there, and then you thread that on. These little drawers worked out awesome. They were helpful to have. Um, this is one, obviously, you can tell hold held my brushes. This one helped some of my cleaner stuff. The thing I'm going to definitely change is by drilling a few holes into this face so that I can stick my brushes vertically. The brushes rolling around here, even with these uh, divots, still kind of got messy and, and were clumsy and you can tell my shorter brushes definitely poke out um, and get the whole bed medi uh, messy so um, I'll probably yeah work on drilling those holes in here this week and so it's, it's it's much more usable for me and then I really would have been cool to have more magnets on the surface of this side because I could have used magnets to hold down my paper towels or other kind of things I use clips instead but it worked out fine it was definitely totally doable and I like that these kind of collapse together like that. The thing I did not like were these. They're sharp. These little edges here are just really grating. Um, I actually lost one of my Capri Suns that way. The reason this got all dissolved, my beautiful art got ruined, it's because the Capri Sun got punctured by the sharp metal contraptions. Got punctured by these 
stupid metal easel clips. Very frustrating. But it just, they're, they're just sharp and then they don't lay flat. They don't nest very well. You can put them together like this or, you know, they just, they still have this weird, weird format that I couldn't get to fit or sit anywhere well, kind of like that other, you know, this thing. It just was a couple little deals. It would have been nice to have everything just streamlined and flat, but that's just not the nature of creating this this tension with these. So that was a bit of a hassle to, you know, to deal with. So small, you know, but it's one of those little things when you interact with it every day, uh, it would kind of just be in my, in my face. And I felt bad putting it in my nice new painting bag because I was worried about these uh, sharp edges cutting holes and stuff. And it's definitely what marred up most of this surface here um, was bumping into these sharp things. So that, I might grind the, the edges down some, polish them back a little bit, and then, um, you know, keep keep experimenting with with where I could store them to keep them a little bit more hassle-free. So that about covers it. I'll show you guys kind of the footage of it being used out there. And again, if you have any questions or anything, definitely shoot them my way. But for the price, for what you get, this is a great easel. It's a great starter setup. I'm going to cover it in stickers and make it mine. It's going to be really awesome. Highly recommend. All right, that concludes the Yugo review part two. I highly recommend the easel. I'd say, you know, on one to 10 scale, eight and a half, you know? Could be made out of lighter materials yet. It could be, I, I don't know. There's no real 10 easel out there. That's the, it won't ever happen. But if you're just getting into planar painting, this is an awesome easel to get started. Uh, there's tons of options out there. I'm gonna hopefully get an open box M here pretty soon too, that I can do some more reviews on. And I've got my Day Tripper, and I got my Ola Prima Bashad, and there are so many awesome options for you out there. Just leave the French easel behind, whatever you do, and get out there and go paint. If you wanna see more of my Sperry experience, go check it out in the video, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. All right, Hayden, as you might have noticed, I'm not in the studio. I'm actually down in my room where I actually edit videos anyway. I've got a stronger computer here. So I share a studio with an artist named Richie Carter. Go check out his paintings because he is awesome. He's one of my great friends and an awesome person to share a studio with, but doing all this stuff is pretty distracting for him probably. So I decided to work out here and do that instead. So you might see more of these two spaces that I most of my life is spent in. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out apparently on the YouTube stuff. I don't know.